puck. Is it nice knowing that you're the guy that sticks up for this team, that knowing that uh, these guys aren't going to be pushed around that you're there? Um, you know, that's just how I was raised. That's how I've been my whole life. You know, we have other guys that will do the same. You know, and that's just what made this team so great and so special. You know, everybody has each other's back, and uh, it's hard to beat a team when they're connected like that. Marcus, do you ever get a kick out of? Do you listen to what Marcus Morris says to other guys on the court? Like his exchange with Tristan Marcus. Thompson, and do you get a kick out of that? Sometimes, you know, it's funny. You know, uh, you know the passion that he plays with, and, and a lot of guys. You know, you want that from your guys. You know, I rather I take that any day over a guy playing and giving everything he has. You know, and leaving it all on the court than. You know, somebody who's out there trying to be, you know, a pretty boy or Cinderella, whatever you want to call it, prima donna, just chilling. Uh, you know, I want somebody that's going to go to war for me just like I'm going to go to war for them. You talked a little bit the other day about how Jalen does a lot of talking out on the court. How is he, how is he kind of developed, developed from, from how he was last year to this year being able to talk and kind of back it up? You said it. He's able to back it up. You, know, you can back it up. You can talk as much crap as you want. <laughs> types of things does he say? You know, it's just the things just from, you know, you can't guard me to, to the flex and the poses, to call the people little when he posts them up and things like that, you know. You know, when the guy's doing that and he's backing it up, you know, it kind of gets into your head, like, you know what, I don't really know if I can guard this guy. And, uh, you know, that's that's a mental thing, part of the game that, you know, a lot of great players understand, you know. The mental game is just as much important as the physical. It's not just one guy. You know, so you can't, you know, plan a game plan to, to stop one guy because you got other guys that are making an impact and coming in and doing things to, to help that team win. He's a great coach, you know, and uh, he's a crafty coach. You know, some of the plays he draws up, you kind of look at him like, I don't really know if that's going to work. And then you go out there and do it, and you're like, you know what? Sorry I ever doubted you, you know. It's just one of those things, you know. Um, when we have a coach like that, it's, it's fun to play for, and, and you're going to go out there and give it everything you have. Is it nice knowing that LeBron gave one of his best punches and that you guys will still able to come back and win? How does it help your confidence going to Cleveland? Tremendously. You know, that's that's a game changer in itself. You know, LeBron came out, did everything he could, you know, and, and you know, to his guys, they see that, and they still came up short. And, uh, you know, that's a feeling going back home, you know. It kind of puts you in a mood that you don't want to be in, you know, and uh, we got a lot of momentum and we're just going to try to use it and ride it.